Hey guys. Welcome, welcome to another random things that I do during the day. Should I make that into a series? All right, so today we are repotting three plants and I need to make my soil concoction mix. But before we do that, let's get this over and done with. Hey everyone, I'm Maddie and welcome back. Or if you're new here, hello, hello. If you wanna vibe and chill with me, click that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video and also click on the notification icon. Anyway, so yeah, that's a quick intro. I wanna try things different this time leaving my little don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button on the bottom in the beginning of the video anyways <laughs> enough of that oh I, when i edit this video i'm gonna be so embarrassed but do it for the well this is not the gram so do it for the tube let's get to mixing my soil oh, i mentioned in my previous video that i got this tub so i can have like a mixture of dirt ready for whenever i need to repot well today is the day um let me roll up my sleeve and introduce you to the key players in today's video so we have indoor potting mix from miracle grow and we have two items from dirt co one of them is worm casting the one that i've been using for a while now um, i only have this much left in the bag and the other one is orchid bark also like i already used like half of it and then last but not least perlite also from miracle grow i already used some of this bag as well all right so actually i forgot that i do have a bag of potting mix that i found in my box see this is why i needed to do this Ugh. another thing went inside my eye I have my glasses. Is that, is the light distracting with my glasses? Anyways, I have my glasses. Yes, I do wear glasses. This is really for when I edit, when I read, when I crochet, but I don't wear contacts. At least not anymore. I used to when my vision was insanely bad. So kids, don't forget to eat your carrots um, <laughs> and take your eye vitamins. But yeah, no, my vision used to be super bad and then i got lasik surgery like a decade ago and um now it's bad again no i'm kidding i'm kidding it's not now it's not as bad as it used to be even though yeah when i'm exhausted my vision gets blurry and i don't like that so yeah that's why right now i still own a pair of glasses which i only use when it's like too late, when I'm exhausted, instead of like the beginning of every editing session. <laughs> Oops, I did not say that. I wear my glasses, babe. I add a little bit more perlite into this, depending on how I feel after I mix everything. I like my soil to be like really airy, but not insanely airy. So I think in the previous video, I mentioned that I don't, have like a ready-made soil this would be my first time having a ready-made soil before that I just mix everything in a small bucket in my trusty blue bucket <laughs> and I would that's how I would repot my stuff but sometimes I would make way too much and then I would dump my mixture in the same bag that I started with so I figured I think it's time for me to get a box of my own for ready-made soil kind of like the consistency of this it's airy but it's not like super super airy yeah i'm gonna show you so we have the orchid bark and the perlite and worm casting i do need to buy more worm casting as usual i am gonna put everything that i use in this video down in the description below um, so you guys can check out what I use. Okay, right, so the plants that are in question for today's repotting. I have my variegated string of hearts. 
my precious, precious string of turtles. Super cute. And our dragon fruit. Okay, so for the string of hearts and the string of turtles, they are in a three inch pot, I think. And they're all gonna be, I'm gonna move them to my four inch pot. So yeah, let's, let's get to it. I don't know which one I should do first. Ah, I feel like I should do my string of hearts first. It's tangled. My string of heart and my string of turtle. They decided to get into an entanglement. <laughs> but I'm so, so the reason why I'm repotting this is because I do think it's overgrowing its pot. And I want to start planting this outside my IKEA cabinet. Because this is where it lives right now, inside the IKEA cabinet. I want to have this growing outside. I think it'll look so beautiful if it's hanging. I do have the regular string of hearts. I need to uh, figure out what I'm going to do with that. All right, so we are done with one. On to the next one. So if you've never tried dragon fruit before, you really should. I know it looks kind of interesting and maybe scary but the fruit itself is actually very very tasty and if you've never tried it before i would recommend you like i commend you to <laughs> to try because like i said it's actually super super delicious i grew up eating dragon fruit um in indonesia because it's you can find it easily i mean yeah it's still kind of pricey but it's not as pricey as it is here it's kind of ridiculous here like one dragon fruit can cost me like five dollars here all right so for my string of turtles i'm gonna put this pot outside i think i might put it in the same place as the variegated string of hearts because i have two thing of like hangers for the hanging plant all right so i am gonna repot my dragon fruit to this pot as opposed to the four inch pot so for my dragon fruit, it's still going to stay in the IKEA cabinet. I am not quite sure how I'm going to do this because I don't want to get pricked. <laughs> I do have some like stones and pebbles that I put in there from the first, first time I popped this. So I actually grow this from seed. Surprisingly pretty easy to grow and it's kind of like succulent. It's kind of like a cactus. So you don't really water them as much. I think if I'm not mistaken, this plant actually is a cactus. <laughs> Growing dragon fruit from scratch, from seed. Super, super easy. What I did, I actually put the seeds and napkins and paper towels and um, I just make sure that the paper towel is super soaked and damp and I just put the seeds laying down in there and I put them in a Ziploc bag and then I kind of leave it under my grow light for, yeesh, I want to say like a week or two, I might have been even a month and you can just see like it's starting to grow the root, it's starting to um, grow a little sprout and after you see a little bit of root you want to move it to soil that's what i did and i've just been watching it grow ever since and we got six seeds but we only managed to sprout one um we sprouted three other ones um well along with this one we actually had three to four sprouts um but i don't know for some reason when i moved them to soil this was the only one that survived and um, the other three kind of dried out and die after. Uh, so yeah. Oh my gosh. That's super, super cute. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. All right, so there you go. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy this short video and thank you for hanging out with me. Again, thank you so much for everyone's support for watching the video. Staying until the end of the video, it really helped me 
grow this channel and if you have any questions let me know down in the comment section below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification icon once again thank you for everyone who stayed and watched and i will see everyone in the next video bye